And, and well, I got another image here also, and that everyone talks about degrees and and uh, you want 25 degrees and you want 30 degrees on or you want 20 degrees for kitchen knives and all that stuff um, well sure you want to keep that in mind but I really don't get hung up on degrees I don't go out there and, and get those angle measures and, 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 and put my sharpening stone at a certain angle to get that perfect and absolute degree I really don't give it much of a thought I mean I, I, I reprofiled this knife and you don't even really think about it you just grab your sharpening stone and go for it you know you'll get to the point where you know when you're out in the field you don't have time to bust out your your angler and uh, and uh, your your big bench stone and all that stuff I think you want to practice your philosophy you want to practice what you're going to be using when when you need to use it get good with something like this a portable system you can get good with a portable system. I mean, in the, in the Philippines, I've seen people sharpen up knives on a on a on a rock to a razor a razor's edge, sharper than anything that I could possibly ever ever do with a fancy piece of equipment. It's that skill set. It's that ability for them to do something with something that most people find in, in amazing. And and once you've learned that skill set, it's with you for life. And I've decided that I want my skill set in a si system like this, a portable system that I can take anywhere and resharpen my, my blades. When I, when I, now the proper angle for this particular knife was up like this before. I didn't find that this knife was sharp enough, so I just lowered the angle. And what I did by doing that is reprofiled this this blade. This blade now is is a razor sharp. For me, for what I use this knife for, that's what I wanted. Granted, when you do reprofile an edge or when you increase the angle, you are going to get into a situation where it's going to be more delicate. And this 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 cutout here kind of discusses that a little bit. Like for instance, if you have a 30 degree um, edge and it shows you the different ways you would lay your blade on your sharpening stone like this is a 30 degree I don't know if you can see that that's a 25 degree 20 degree 17 degree it's a little bit confusing but basically like a 30 degree for heavy use cutting of cardboard wire and carpet okay and, that, and that's that's true you want a knife that does have a uh, it doesn't have to be razor sharp but you're gonna have a knife that you really want to dig in to cut carpet I know that 25 degrees Durable sharp edge for hunting and outdoor use, and that is true because when you're when you're skinning a when you're skinning a uh, deer, you want a sharp knife, but too sharp and you tend to uh, you can really cut through the skin and you can also damage uh, your meat, and uh, you really don't need a razor edge, but you do want a knife that's going to maintain its edge throughout the cleaning uh, situation. So I'm not going to be using a razor to be cleaning my deer. I will be. I do want a sharp knife, a very sharp knife. All right, this is a very razor sharp knife. All right, but I don't need a razor, razor. All right, all right, which is at maybe at a 15 degree. I don't need 15 degrees to be cleaning a deer. All right. A 15 degree knife would probably not last throughout the. Uh, cleaning evolution, you'd have to stop and resharpen your blade. So these are things that you do want to keep into in in mind. 25 degrees, 20 degrees, you know, 30 degrees. It, you'll get to the point where when you learn how to sharpen with your with your Lansky, and this is a DMT stone, and you can pick them up for about 30, 40 bucks, and they'll last you for the rest of your life. Once you get really good with these, you don't even really think about it. And you, you can tell what degree or how sharp it is for your particular purpose just by looking at it. And that's the skill set you want to develop. Because I'm not going to be out there in the field, all right, or I'm not going to be out there in my tent, all right, whether I'm deployed or whether I'm up in the mountains. And I'm not going to be like, well, let me see, what degree am I doing this at? You know, I'm not going to bust out my calculator and figure all that out, all right. 
for me that doesn't work for some people that might and that and I'm not insulting what you're doing there and, that, and if you can do that that's fantastic if you have the time to do something like that that's great but I prefer to develop that skill set with something that's simple alright very simple something very portable 20 degrees for quality folders fixed in kitchen knives and what do they mean by quality folders maybe something with some exotic steels possibly that could that could maintain that I, like for instance this is a this I have I have this knife at a at a 20 degree or about a 20 degree and I did that when I reprofiled it if not almost a 17 degree now this is an ATS 34 which is a super steel which is very very uh, hard and it maintains its edge very well different types of materials can withstand uh, uh, larger uh, how should I? They can, uh, they can, they can withstand a 17 degree. For instance, this ATS 34 can can take a 17 degree, but will be as strong as a 25 degree in a carbon steel. All right. Even though carbon steel, to maintain its edge. Okay. I'm not saying it's stronger in that particular. Like, like you could like, you know, bust open a uh, ammo crate with it, but it will, it will maintain its edge better than that. But this is easier to resharpen. Due to its hardness, it is very difficult to resharpen this. But then again, with the diamond stones, it's eliminated most of that. Granted, it's going to be easier to resharpen a carbon steel blade. All right, sure. But with our new diamond stone technology, it's really taken that out of the equation. I mean, these are diamonds. This ATS-34 is not going to stand up against diamonds. It's going to stand up better than a carbon steel which is going to resharpen very easily and take on a very razor's edge very quickly you're going to have to work a little bit harder with the ATS-34 but it's going to maintain that edge a lot better you know? so and that base this basically demonstrates what it would look like everyone's like what's a what's the degrees look like well here's a image of a 20 degree I don't know if you guys can really see that, but um, if you look at this, you can definitely see how the 20 degree is definitely going to be tougher than a 15 degree. See, that's, see how that cutout is? But you're going to have it's going to be sharper. But you can see if you can just imagine, they're just showing them side by side. All right, the 15 degree is going to be very sharp but it can break a lot easier than a 20 degree. Alright? I'm going to have all this stuff hanging you up on the 20 degree. All right. But, like I said, with a nice steel 154cm ATS-34 A2 tool steel is incredible um, in edge retention. But with today's new with today's new technology and the quality of the steels, I believe that you have the ability to really increase your angles on a lot of your knives. And 15 degrees was unheard of before, and now it's 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 almost the norm. And that's because of the steels that we have, the technology, and uh, you can have a 15 degree on a on a blade, and that blade will maintain its edge and it will not break. And that's really cool. That's really cool. So, that's about it. You guys take it easy. Alright. And, uh, hope you guys have a nice day. And, uh, this is Doggo signing out. Alright, well, we're back here. And, uh, we're just going over some of these, uh, blades that I have. And, uh,